In this video, I'm going to be talking about the only passing concept that you need in Madden 23 to be effective. And this play is so versatile, you can literally run it against any coverage, any defense, any formation. And you can run it in a lot, a lot of different ways. And this is the PA slot cross out of the gun tight. Now, we're going to be showing you one of my favorite, favorite mesh concepts today out of this out of this uh, play, this is in the Detroit Lions playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and the link is in the description to get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates. So we're going to, going to uh, come out in PA slot cross. Now, what I typically like to do with this play, um, it really doesn't matter uh, where they are. The setup's going to be the same if it's on the left hash or the right hash. I do think it's fine either hash. You can run this on either hash mark, any situation. Very, very versatile play. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to create a mesh concept. And you can create a mesh concept a couple different ways. The main thing we're going to do here is we're just going to drag our tight end. Now, this is going to create the mesh, the mesh print, uh, piece of the puzzle. Now, the rest of the puzzle is, you know, up to you. So how you want to run this. So what I like to do, especially if you have Hot Route Master, is put your left receiver on a corner and put your right receiver on a post. So you see here, this is what the play art looks like. Now, this is an incredible play against man coverage. Really good against man. I'm going to show you how it works against zone too, and it actually is pretty decent against zone. So let's snap the ball and go through our progressions. We're going to look at this mesh. One of these two drags is almost always going to, pretty much literally every round in the play beats man. Every round on the play beats man. Your first read, in my opinion, is going to be your corner. You want to read this play from the corner route to the mesh in the middle to the post. Okay? So we're looking at our corner. Does our corner get separation? Okay, we can throw it. Not really. All right? Didn't get separation there. Partially because I have inside shade on that cornerback. Um, but this corner will work relatively well. These um, hot route master corners are pretty good. You see there, just passing down outside, super good against man. Um, you know, they're going to have to do some stuff to stop this play. Now, I'm going to go over press coverage in a second. There's a little different setup for press man uh, that I'm going to be going over. But again, you can, if you want to try to highball and ag this. I'm not very good at agging these corners. But if you want to try to highball and ag this, you can. Let's talk about press man. So, if they run press man, there's a little bit of a nuance. You, This is kind of an alternate setup that I like to do. There's one of two different alternate setups. The first one is we can motion this guy out and put him on a C route. That's really pretty solid. It's a great route. You can do that one as well. Or you can leave him in compressed and you can just put him on a streak. Um, and what you'll see from the streak right here is he will light up and you could freeform up and away from the safety in the middle of the field. That's against a cover one and you're able to get over the top of cover one for a pretty big play. So you have the ability to throw this in a lot of different ways. Now what about the C route on the over here on the left? One of the things I like to suggest is if you have, if it's first and 10 and you're running this, go ahead and smart route that C route. It will make it a little bit more effective because he's off the line of scrimmage. And as you can see, um, super, super effective against man. So when you smart route C routes, if they are off the line of scrimmage, it does help them run a little better, especially if it's like first and 10 or something like that. So now they have to have safety help over top. In some way, shape, or form, they have to have safety help over on this player, especially if they press you. Even if they don't press you, you can motion out and run the C route, and this is fine as well. This is a great concept if you do it like this. Um, you'll see right here. Here's See how he gets pressed if I don't smart route it? That's uh, super, super important. He's going to get pressed if you don't smart route the C route. But if you smart route the C route, which I'll show you real quick, same situation. The only difference is I'm going to smart route the C route. And you'll watch here. He's not going to get pressed. He's going to light up. And he's going to get that super win animation that is so good uh, this year out of the C route on the left side of the field. So very, very effective little concept. Now, let's talk. Uh, so that's man-to-man. -man. And really, um, like I said, you want to progress your reads from your corner to your mesh. So I'm going corner. No. Drags either one. No. Okay, I got my post. All right. So that's how you want to read the play. You want to read corner to mesh to post. Corner to mesh to post um, is really the best way to read this play. This play can literally beat every single coverage in the game and is actually super, super hard to user and super hard to, to defend with how good how good mesh is this year. Mesh is a, a cornerstone concept this year passing-wise, uh, in my opinion, or at least some type of mesh. Now, let's talk about zone. How does this play work against zone? This, cor this is why I run the corner route. Um, if you watch here, the corner route is going to pull the zones outside. And then you can throw this in the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Now, 
the thing we want to force our opponent to have to do. You have to force this. If you don't force this, they won't do it. We have to force hard flats. The best way to do that is to take our drag. So right here, oh, he goes with that corner. Now we check down to the drag and we take our seven to 10 yards. Very, very, very important and crucial that we take that route when it is given to us. Same thing on the backside here. So you see, okay, come back side. He's open, boom. Okay, so now we funnel them into a couple different defensive opportunity or uh, options. They have to hard flat. And when they hard flat, what you'll notice with this play is if they hard flat, now it's a clear picture. I threw that just a little bit too early. It's a clear picture for that post route. They, they get themselves in this coverage that it's going to be hard because now they have to choose, am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard that route to uh, about a scantling, right? That route to about a scantling will actually kind of get in a soft spot against hard flats. As you see right there, he can kind of get in a soft spot against almost any coverage in the game. So it's really hard to play, to, to play hard flats on both sides. You just, it just changes how the zones play. But anyway, so they're going to kind of sit on that route and then you can freeform that down and outside against that coverage as you can see right there super good um, against cover four cover three is pretty much the same as cover four where we want to force them to play hard flats and then once we force them to play hard flats as i totally butchered my route combo notice that that route gets over the top of hard flats in a soft spot on that side of the field so that that route can actually beat hard flats if you freeform it up and to the outside away from where the defenders are so Really, really high level uh, route from that at Scantling. I think it's the best route in the game because it's just so versatile. You'll see here, I can freeform that up just right over the top of the cloud flat or the, the hard flat. So able to attack uh, that. And now what you're going to see people start to shift to is some type of double flat where they're going to try to bracket your sidelines. And the problem that this creates is now your user is in no man's land in the middle of the field against a mesh concept where you have three players running over the middle of the field. So what you should see here is you can hit these little drags before they get to the flat and it makes them super, super good. Now, we're going to show you a concept tomorrow that's really, really, really good for this scenario where they start to play, you know, super protective of the flats. They're not even, this is also one of the hardest plays in the game to blitz because you're attacking the flats relatively quickly. And then these crossers, they just get across the field really, really well. Um, you know, you see right there. So if you don't hit your crossers, then yes, it double flat can give this a little bit of trouble. Like I said, we're going to show you tomorrow uh, the best way to combat any kind of double flat defense with another setup out of PA slot cross. PA slot cross, like I said before, is the most versatile play in the game, in my opinion. It is so versatile. If you can master this play, it's so hard to stop. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description of the video.